Josh Hamilton has one of the most interesting careers in Major League Baseball history. A former first overall pick who didn't debut until age 26 had one of the greatest peaks in recent memory and suddenly disappeared. So what happened to Josh Hamilton? How good was he? And where is he now? We will answer that and more in today's video. Josh Hamilton was drafted number one overall by the Tampa Bay Devil Rays out of high school in 1999 and his tenure with the Rays was full of hiccups as his journey to the big leagues was derailed by drug use. Across 2001 and 2002, Hamilton appeared in 101 games in the minors but missed a ton of time to injury which included the fatal car accident that Hamilton today says the reason why he got into drugs. Come spring training in 2003, Hamilton failed his first drug test in Major League Baseball and took the season off due to personal reasons. The following year in 2004, he was suspended 30 games by the league for violating the drug policy and a month later was suspended the entire year after two more failed drug test. He came back in 2005 but was arrested and ended up missing the entire season. To put it in perspective, from 2003 to 2005, Josh Hamilton did not play baseball. Tired of his antics and giving him way too many chances, before the 2006 season, the Devil Rays took him off the 40-man roster, which meant he was eligible to be signed in the Rule 5 draft. The Chicago Cubs ended up selecting Josh Hamilton, but later that day, they traded him to the Cincinnati Reds. Now with a new team, Hamilton was looking for a fresh start and eight long years after being selected number one overall by the Devil Rays, he finally made his MLB debut with the Reds on April 2nd, 2007. In 90 games, he slashed 292, 368, 554, hit 19 home runs, and showed flashes why he was a former first overall pick. Although he showed tons of potential, his time in Cincinnati was short-lived as following the season, he was traded to the Texas Rangers, which ended up being a career saver. From 2008 to 2012, Josh Hamilton became one of, if not the best player in baseball and had one of the crazier five-year peaks in recent memory. During those five seasons, he was named the five consecutive All-Star Games, won three Silver Sluggers, and the AL batting title. His best season came in 2010 when he hit 359 with 32 home runs, posted an OPS over 1,000, and won the AL MVP award that year. Altogether, Hamilton slashed 305, 363, 549 over the course of those five seasons and was a huge reason why Texas made back-to-back -back World Series appearances in 2010 and 2011. After five elite years in Texas, Hamilton was a free agent and signed a five-year deal worth $125 million with the division rival Los Angeles Angels. His tenure in Anaheim was nothing like his years in Texas, and to put it nicely, was a disaster. In 240 games across two seasons, he hit 255 with the 741 OPS. During the third year of his five-year deal, Hamilton suffered a knee injury during spring training and later announced he had relapsed while recovering. When the news broke, the Angels wanted no part of Hamilton and traded him back to Texas in April 2015. The Rangers were hoping to rejuvenate his career, but it didn't work out. 2015 would be the final MLB season of his career, and he only appeared in 50 games where he statistically had the worst year of his career. He was set to play in 2016, but missed the entire year due to right knee problems, and in 2017, while rehabbing his right knee injury, hurt his left knee that ultimately ended his playing days. Since his playing days ended in 2017, his name has still been in the news, some good, but mostly bad. For the good, he was inducted into the Rangers Hall of Fame in August of 2019. For the bad, in October 2019, he was arrested and charged with injury to a child, a third degree felony, after being accused of physically assaulting his oldest daughter. Six months later, he was found guilty and received a year of probation, was fined $500, and ordered to undergo 20 hours of community service along with anger management counseling and parenting rehabilitation classes. Despite hitting four home runs in a game, getting intentionally walked with the bases loaded, and winning an MVP amongst many other accolades, Hamilton will always be remembered for his off-the-field antics that ruined a potentially Hall of Fame career.